Okay, let's take a start. The, the topic is age. Even if the topic is unusual, you can give usual answers. Okay, don't be afraid that my topic is unusual, age and how to answer and all that. It's not difficult. Let me ask you this question. Do you like your current age? Yes, definitely yeah. I enjoy the current age because uh, right now I am uh, don't doing tell, a job. Don't tell, yeah. Okay, you're doing a job. Yes, I tell you, right now I'm only 17. <laughs> right, and now. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm doing a job, okay. I'm independent. So I feel more comfortable to depend upon others. Yeah. So, so for I your age, you use by my this own age. Myself. This okay. age is ideal for me yes. and my current age is my ideal one. I really yes. enjoy. I've got freedom. I've got independence, something yes. like that. Okay. That's good. Uh, what do you like about your age? This age uh, basically give me wisdom and independence. This age has given me, present has perfect. given me wisdom, uh, and wisdom independence. and independence as well as confidence because at this age I am suffering from now. I am meeting with the more than, I am meeting with a lot of people. So due to this, I feel more confident rather than uh, almost 1.5 years ago, I was too shy and never speak in okay. front of others. Okay. So I feel more confident. So instead of saying 1.5 years ago, you should say a couple of years ago. Okay. And you said I'm suffering now. What do you mean by suffering? Uh, I'm going through now, yes. not suffering, okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, at what age do you think people are the happiest? I think so. People are the happiest at the age of uh, 14 to 15 because at that time they are settled in their life and they have everything, family, babies, uh, a good source of income. So I think so that age of interval time, 40 to 15 is... All right. By babies happiest. you mean children? Yes, children. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, well, what was the most important decision you have made until now? The decision which I have taken almost a couple of years ago that was uh, a this couple of years ago, then past tense. The decision uh -huh. which I took a couple of years ago. Okay, the decision which I have took a couple of years ago was uh, my job decision because that time I have two options. I had. I had two options. And uh, I, I feel proud to choose the present job conditions because right now I am a team lead within a few years. So I feel... Okay, I have become a team leader within a few years. I, I have become. I have become a team leader within a few years. So I feel proud at this decision. Okay, that's good. So you need to focus your tenses. Okay. When you say two, three years ago, obviously yeah. past. Yes. Right, so when you say within two, three years, I have mm -hmm. become, so okay. because you're using two, three years as a time period, then you use present perfect. When you use two, three years as a point in past, then you will use, use past simple past. tense. So these are some mistakes which you need to overcome, okay? Okay. All right, now let's move on. Uh, for you, the topic is uh, travel, and you will have to talk about traveling and all that. You can just clip the mic, and then we just move on. <clears throat> So the first question is, do you like traveling? Come on, you can help her. That's okay, that's okay. Yes, yes. So do you like traveling? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't like traveling. I don't think so. I don't like traveling. What does that mean? I'm giving a reason. No, no, listen. Uh, okay, so I don't think so. I don't like traveling is not right. Double not. I don't think so that I like traveling. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so I don't like traveling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, confusing. So, do you like traveling? Uh, no, I don't like traveling uh, because whenever I travel three to four hours, I feel headache and uh, I don't feel good in journey. Uh, but sometimes I want to go out where uh, just only for 15 to 16 minutes generally. Okay, this is not a proper answer. You need to organize your answer and it should be a fluent answer, not just small parts of sentences presented to the examiner. Not like that. Do you like traveling? Well, I would say I don't like traveling because whenever I travel, 
I usually have a headache and sometimes I feel nausea, so I don't like traveling at all. Simple, right? I mean, don't be confused. Sometimes I like traveling, sometimes I don't like traveling. When you are confused, you cannot answer properly. Now answer the same question again. Do you like traveling? No, I don't like traveling because whenever I uh, travel three to four, वो बनेगी जब आप बहुत ज्यादा सोचेंगी ना जब आप ये सोचेंगी कि मेरी फ्लुएंसी बन रही है कि नहीं बन रही फिर इंसान कंफ्यूज कब होता है जब वो ये सोचता है मैं कैसा लग रहा हूँ मैं कैसा लग रहा हूँ बाल सही लग रहे हैं वो इंसान कंफ्यूज है जब वो सोचता ही नहीं है कि कैसा लग रहा हूँ उसका ध्यान कहीं और होता है तो आप अपनी स्पीकिंग पर फोकस ना करें आप मेरे क्वेश्चन पर फोकस करें जैसा आंसर आता है दें डोंट वरी एट ऑल डू यू लाइक ट्रेवलिंग नो आई डोंट लाइक ट्रेवलिंग बिकॉज वेन एवर आई ट्रेवल I have had dick, and uh, and I feel not good. I don't feel good. Good by traveling. Okay, which cities have you traveled to? I don't travel more cities. I uh, don't travel. Okay, listen. यहाँ पे बड़ा अच्छा structure which you can use. Which cities have you traveled to? I have been to. I have been to means I have visited. For example, I have been to various cities of Pakistan, especially Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. Along with that, I've been to Quetta and I've been to Sakardu as well, something like that. Now, please answer. Which cities have you travelled to? I have been to travel. Uh, been to के साथ पे travel नहीं आएगा. I have been to. to शहर का नाम? मुरीद के कामों की गुजरा वाला. हाँ पिंडी भट्टियाँ पिंडी भट्टियाँ ये इंग्लिश चोबा चेक सिंग आई हैव बीन टू इस्लामाबाद गुड व्हिच इज़ द कैपिटल ऑफ माय होम टाउन होम टाउन का कैपिटल कितना आ गया कैपिटल ऑफ आवर कंट्री ज्योग्राफी पुटी कर दी आपने सारी हाँ ओके ऑल राइट ओके लेट्स गो ना चेंज द क्वेश्चन कंफ्यूज नहीं होना बी कॉन्फिडेंट सो Uh, what kind of cities do you like to travel to? Uh, I love nature and I uh, like travel the cities which are uh, that full of nature and greenery and uh, have a very beautiful views. So I I like the most uh, northern areas of Pakistan like Naran Kagan. Okay, which city left the deepest impression on you? Naran Kagan, the cities of uh, northern areas of Pakistan, impressed me very much because they are full of greenery and uh, uh, full of uh, natural views, and I like the nature most. Okay, but when you are serious, the answers are right. So be serious, don't smile, and don't give yourself a message that you are confused or nervous. Clear? Good job. All right, now it's your turn. The topic is breaks. You can just clip the mic, please. So the next topic is breaks, breaks that you take during your work and lunch break, tea break, and all that. Uh, well, should we take a little break? Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to take a little break now. <laughs> all right. Uh, do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? Um, it depends on the work I'm doing. Uh, like uh, if it's some um, serious work with. Uh, some mental concentration, then uh, little sh uh, short intervals uh, are better. But if it's uh, like I'm watching a movie, then I would like to have a break of like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, all right, this is good. Just try to add some more energy to your answer. That is even better, right? Yeah, this is important. Uh, let's go on. How often do you take a break? Now you can talk about weekly, monthly, yearly, like that. Um, sorry, uh, monthly, weekly. Listen, uh, how often do you take a break? So how often means right. frequency, right? right? Yeah. And break should be like uh, once in a month. Um, human body and human uh, brain, it cannot work properly uh, when we are uh, continuously in stress and in uh, continuous pressure. So we have to take some break. Uh, the question is in personal capacity and, and, and you're answering in third I'm person. Going to, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to that. Uh, you should start with that. 
how often do you take a break well i really love to take a break every month for a week or something like that okay. uh, first you talked about people then you said we whereas the question is how often do you take a break so you should use i as personal pronoun okay. now please answer again how often do you take a break i usually go uh, go for a break uh, from a work or a routine life in every 3 to 4 weeks why just for a day uh, because i feel stressed and uh, i feel like i have to get away from the routine okay so this is a rather short answer you need to organize your answer and there should be one complete answer and give all the answer in one go one go means ikattha not in parts every a a hor vi hai not like that okay it should be all in one go one go means a fluent answer four five sentences should be spoken fluently and that's it for part one right let's go on got more questions for you uh what do you usually do during a break i usually wander around and uh, maybe go for a tea break or some coffee with a cigarette okay now this is again a short answer you need to add some more i mean there should be some proper sentences because examiner has to evaluate you so at least give four five good sentences and they are enough let's go on uh why do you need to take a break um is it a previous question previous is what do you usually do during the break now no, is yeah, why do like... you need to take the break yeah see there is a feeling that see examiner the na gussa re sina sir pad da break 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 i break your head <laughs> sometimes we have this thing i answered that already ha aur kinna ke dassa tenu something like that so at the moment okay. you have this feeling anyways no no i don't have so it. why do you need to take a break uh, because uh, like at, at this moment i want to take a break okay uh sometimes uh, whenever you are working even if you are uh, giving a lecture continuously you cannot uh, stand or sit and uh, continuously speak for 3 uh, to 4 hours even you need a uh, little break for every uh, every interval of time okay this is good you have the ability to speak english but just focus the question and answer accordingly whatever the question is and and you know you need to make up your mind sometimes people are not talkative sometimes people they don't know how to for ielts you don't need to give the reality based answer right now for example if you are two sibling and in ielts you tell them we are three siblings so that's okay right not the reality based answer but your answer should be a well cooked answer well cooked means ideal answer for example what do you usually do during a break well it depends if it is my lunch break then i love to enjoy food with my colleagues on the other hand if it is the monthly break for a couple of days i really enjoy going to the northern areas and see the beauty and once a month when i get my annual leave just go on like that okay that what i'm saying i'm i'm, I'm saying without thinking i don't do that i don't even get breaks and all that stuff but see the ability to answer every question now for example if i say for the time being you are sharukh khan for example now every okay. question i ask you you will answer like you are okay. huh whatever huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay so that's what you have to see you are someone who has to answer every question and all that right and for that you have to first break the question yeah but you just need to answer the question that's it yeah four five sentences so i mean you got a uh, somewhat uh, unusual topic but otherwise it's tv and all that you can answer easily okay <laughs> thank you